Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Bentley. I want to talk to you about a probiotic called Bifidobacterium brevae. This probiotic is highly colonized in infants and young children, and, but there's a large variation amongst that population, and the variation is determined by their mode of delivery, whether they're born via cesarean, which is more of a sterile type birth, or vaginal birth, which gets you exposed to multiple flora of our bodies. And then also if the child is breastfed versus not being breastfed. And so what the research indicates is children that are born via vaginal birth and that are also breastfed, they typically have a healthier immune system that is stronger and provides better protection than ones that are born via cesarean and also not breastfed but mainly formula fed. Some of the things that children in this situation uh, have a higher propensity to that they show in the research is eczema, allergies, uh, being colicky. So those are just some of the aspects of it. And the research indicates that Bifidobacterium brevae has a large benefit in preventing those things. So some of the other benefits that we have with Bifidobacterium brevae is that it is shown to inhibit E. coli, which E. coli can cause significant intestinal disruption and has been shown to be helpful from that. It also has decreased uh, diarrhea in people and then also has helped recreate regularity in adults with regards to constipation. And then, like most probiotics, it does have an immune modulatory property. And so this immune modulatory property is mainly anti-inflammatory, which decreases the sensitivity of the immune system. So what does that mean? Well, just like a lot of the other probiotics, is that it helps decrease people that have asthma, allergies, eczema, so these immune enhanced type situations, it helps modulate those and decrease the severity of that. So much so that there's a research article that actually did a comparative study of the anti-inflammatory benefits of budesonide, which is an inhaled steroid that people use when they have uh, certain respiratory diseases, such as asthma, and then compared that to the anti-inflammatory properties of Bifidobacterium brevae and they actually showed that it was comparable. It wasn't inferior, it wasn't superior, but it was equivocal. So again, that just shows you the power of our microbiota and what it does for our overall health. So again, this is a great probiotic. Um, and also to note that from your childhood to your adulthood, you have about 10% of the bifidobacterium when you're an adult than what you did when you're a child. And so it's important that we supplement with certain probiotics, and this is one that I would recommend.